down Navi as well. They're looking hot. Astralis looking very weak today as well. It all comes together in this amazing storyline. This could be a really astonishing game. But they're playing on the same map, Henry. It's it, going to be all pass once again. Yep, and they've split the difference. They've played this a couple of times, and both of them have won. And who have you got? That's the question. This is the big one. You can't say Astralis. <laughs> That's made it easy. You've gamed me, haven't you? You've just set it all up. That's amazing. Uh, you know what? I, I, w I would have to say Liquid anyway. Just based on how they're That'd looking right now, they're looking like an amazing team. Yeah. Um, and as Charles, they, they must be a little bit shell-shocked from that uh, MIBR tornado. Absolutely. No one saw that coming. But ladies and gentlemen, as I said, it looks like we're ready to go. Could be the game of the day. Make some noise. Team Liquid versus Astralis. As we get into another best of one here, we are seeing the CZ being brought out early. It's in the hands of Glaive. He's on the CT side, of course, as the T's actually make their way towards the B bomb site. It's Liquid who make their way through Monster. No one really there, just Mages very defensively, and he'll have to fall back and wait for his teammates. Yeah, no choice really. Smart move on his part to fall back now. Quick flanking. Oh, that's no bomb plant. What a shot coming up there. Incredible for Glaive, and that's going to shut it down. Not a single person going down for Astralis. How does that happen, Henry? They made it onto their site clean. It was all looking great. <laughs> They've had enough. <laughs> they just have had enough. They've had enough. They're like, you know what? We just got being 16 2 on our map. It's time to show the world what we can do. We've woken up, and that certainly suggests they have. Amazing retake there. Remember, one player on the B side, that was Magus. They didn't drop a single kill. They denied absolutely everything there. No plant, no frags, and it's going to be the full eco for Liquid as they bring out the AKs in the third round. I'm not a massive fan of this fight from Astralis. You can see they've got four UMPs. They're trying to counter the fact they know the AKs come out in the third but they want utility for this round as they hold up hopefully they don't drop any frags you can see device with the org towards middle just looking over the smoke right now and we talked about this yesterday if you're liquid you know this round is almost nothing for you but if you can slow it right down and bait out grenades and make it expensive in one facet of the game going forward that might have a knock-on effect yes absolutely all the little pieces matter at the end of the game especially they're doing a fine job here. UMP, a couple of kills there for Dupree. They've taken a little bit of damage. Dupree is running a bit low on health, and he's going to survive for the round. Device finishing off with a triple. And things are looking, you know, a little bit better than they were against MIBR, but it doesn't take much, really. Um, well, know. yes, indeed. This, this portion of the game, they were actually quite competitive against MIBR. They yes. only got two rounds, but they were actually in the first half in the first five rounds. So, so far, so good for Astralis. Yes, absolutely. But now the AKs come out for Liquid, and this is where they've got a real problem. As I mentioned, four UMPs here up against a full buy. They're going to have to do something a little bit more... Uh, Kind of explore the aggression options here, see what they can really bring to the table. They can't just sit back in a default setup here. Someone needs to find a frag early on as they nade Molotov towards the T steps. No real damage done just yet. At least there with the Krieg. You might see Device bring that out later on as well. Don't really see it too often. And it's Glaive. As I said, they do need to hunt for a frag. He's trying to do whatever he can here. Nading out the door, blows it wide open. No frags or any damage found yet. Yeah, and I don't think you could see it on the mainstream, but actually Device was um, checking for the quad boost and T-spawn. He was actually sort of aware yeah. of that. So um, It's actually quite common these days, isn't yes. it? A lot of teams will run that. Always worth a go. I mean, it's, it's especially smart if you can catch it, right? Then you might actually have a pretty good shot of winning that fight. So um, interesting to see that teams are starting to look out for that. Glaive, I'm worried, is a little bit alone here with the UMP. It was almost no backup at all. Well, there's a smoke at least towards Connector now. He can really focus towards that short pipe. We'll see. Whether that's going to be a good option for him, you see Naf very aware of that prospect, and Glaive will fall back towards the B bomb site. Slow round here from Liquid, and that's been a bit of a calling card of this new look Liquid. The last few months since Adren's been brought in as a coach, they have slowed things right down. A much more tactical, methodical team. As they head towards long, remember they've got that range advantage, they know it. So they're going to focus on that area, and they have one smoke, a couple of flashbangs left. That's not really ideal. This could work out for Astralis still, due to the lack of utility on the Liquid side. Yeah, it definitely could, especially with the time that's left. I mean, that one smoke, it's, it's going to have to work perfectly. They've got so many grenades on the CT side, but one of them comes to the smoke, and now they might actually be able to us down. Device already taking a bit of damage and Elise with the opening kill followed up as well. Twist to take down one and the bomb should be planted. It's only 14 seconds. They need to be quick about it. Ten of them left now. Nobody did to stop the bomb and they've got a little bit of control here. Stewie to take down Magus can just like that. It's looking good for the American side. Device and Glaive left. Two on four. I don't think they can actually retake this. You could see Glaive. He's sneaking up close. He wants to do a little bit of damage here. He spotted out Stewie but it doesn't matter. Instant refrag coming through on Nitro. 
Well, there it is. It will be the round going in favor of Liquid, but that's okay. Astralis knew they were going to be up against it that particular round. They had to try and find a few kills there. Three would have been nice. Two's okay. It means they can farm a bit more extra cash for the UMPs. You get $600 per kill with that weapon. They'll have a full buy, especially with Device saving his Org. He can actually purchase the AWP in the next round. He'll probably drop the rifle over. And remember, we didn't even get to see the CT side of Astralis against MIBR. They didn't even get a chance to get to a gun round. So there it is, Liquid posting their first. They're looking incredibly sharp today, and I'm sure Device brings out the AWP. Surely it happens here. Yes, absolutely. Early on, definitely want to be picking that one up. That rush through the smoke over and long, I feel like if you replay that a couple of times and you catch them when they're setting up their grenades and all yeah. the rest of it, that probably works pretty well. But that was one of the one times when it didn't, and it kind of... Uh, Kind of crumbled that A defense a little bit. Yeah, absolutely did. The UMP wasn't the ideal weapon, but now they're much better equipped. You can see they've got two M4s, an AUG there, and the device AWP. And device is known for his dynamic gameplay on this map. He'll be in a different position almost every single round, this time choosing the monster tunnel to see if he looks towards T-spawn. He spots one, and now he's in a little bit of trouble here. Has to try and fall back, which he will. He's taking under 75 HP. Not too damaging, but that's a little bit more. It's going to be down 23, and he'll have to fall back and reposition, I feel. Slave right on the corner, Stewie setting it up. Oh, that's a wall bank coming through. That messes up the grenade. A moment of panic is all it took. That's actually incredible timing. Just one shot. Was that Sip coming in from the other side? I think it was Omegisk, maybe. Could somebody take a couple of shots through the wall and messed it a lot for Stewie? So that's a, that's a weird development. Wow. Five on four now. Stewie has been taken down. Long control for Nitro. You can see his teammates there down towards connector as well. They still have plenty of time here, but there is a fly in the ointment. It's going to be Glaive controlling the connector for now. As it all comes to a bit of a standstill here, we still have a few smokes on the liquid side. Need to find a kill at this point. Device, like we said, low HP, but now in CT spawn, just trying to back up that A bomb site as Glaive hunts for a bit of information here. Device solo on health. He's going to be really worried. That's a good leg shot, though, on Nitro. Making things a bit more difficult. 35 seconds again as they set it up. He spots a second player and he should know that they're coming, definitely. Grenades now going a little bit into the sky. They're just trying to see if they can do this against Device with the AWP long range, and they've already been softened up so much. This is almost impossible. 20 seconds and getting shot down every which way. That seemed like, you know, a bit too much of a prayer, I feel like, for Liquid to put everybody on long and just sort of, you know, jumping back and forth against the AWP. They just didn't have the resources to really justify that. They had no real map control. Long was their only point of approach, and the smoke was not down. Ideally, you need to smoke the end of Long, right? You saw Device from his POV. He had full control of that. Even with 25 HP, that's the benefit of the, the sniper, right? He can sit right back on a tiny angle. No bullets are going to hit him. He plucks off one, manages to stay alive as well, and a great setup there. He's taking so much of the aggro towards our bank position. The Orcs waiting towards bathrooms is gunning them down, and it's not the most uh, advantageous approach, sending four players out of one position, because then the crossfire is will shut you down. That's going to be a pretty disastrous scenario for Liquid, though, because that has pretty much reset them. They have got enough for somewhat of a buy. At the very top, we've got NAF at 4,500. At the bottom, though, is a lead with 19. So I don't think they can bring a lot to the table. There would be enough for two AK-47s, uh, maybe a Galil. We'll see if they want to just take a partial here, as we have a slight technical timeout. It looks like Glaive and his headphones are having a bit of an issue around this. Yeah, definitely want to sort that out. And um, obviously, Admin seems to be right on that one. I mean, the way that MIBR were playing against the Stratos on this map, they really kept the pressure on for a lot. Like, they kept fighting for some of those early rounds and, and, and didn't really let the Stratos ever get into a very comfortable position. Yeah. But I can understand if Liquid don't want to buy into this next round. I feel like that might be a bit of a risk. And as you said, they've taken a sort of a slow and, and maybe a little bit more methodical approach. So it would make sense to me if they were going to try and, uh, and slow it down a little bit. I think so. When you're, especially when you're the, the, the underdog, perhaps, when you're up against a more favored team, you want to be focusing on the money, making sure you're running yes. your full strategies and using everything in your arsenal. They brought Adren in for a reason, right? He's known as a, a tactical mastermind. He's always developing executions and has those in his back pocket. If you don't get a chance to run them, you're constantly force buying, it could be a little bit too late in the best of one. So I'd prefer some sort of a partial buy here, uh, maybe some deagles. We'll see if that comes through. And indeed, Nafly has purchased the first Eagles, so they are going to take this a little bit easy. Here's the replay of Glade getting it done towards that connector position. And this is what we were talking about before. You see no smoke down at all. They just didn't have anything to actually fend him off. And yes. at that point, Glaive could just go to town with the M4 and no chance of getting the bomb down there. Glaive denies that as well. Last time I saw Liquid on this map, one of the big tools they had to, especially on the T side, uh, playing here on Overpass, was definitely having Naf open up the B bomb side with, yeah. like, coming through the monster tunnel. He's very good at hitting those shots at the barrels. And he really is. So I'd love to see them just try and utilize that. Like, it's such a simple plan, but... He's pretty consistent with it, so 
Yeah, an absolute beast. Like the Team Liquid squad on paper is scary, to say the least. There's so much aim potential in this squad. If they get going, it's difficult to shut them down. Glaive, not going to allow that, though. He's towards the fountain right now, plucking off the heads of Team Liquid, looking for his third. Not going to happen. Nafly will respond, but Dupree now has to try and deny then picking up the rifle here, that would be ideal. If they get it, it could be a little bit troublesome. It's only the M4, so not a huge deal considering they have no armor here. It's going to be a liege to wield the weapon. Looking for any mistakes here. And Astralis are happy to, to fall back and make sure they win the round. Well, they've fallen back in... I mean, Device is a little bit alone out there. Nobody's gone long right now for the T side. If they were, that could get awkward. And oh no, look at this, Henry. Dupree and Device both going down. The M4, the Deagle to follow up by Naf, and just like that, it's a two on three. How did they let this happen? And the Molotov towards the bank as they try and see if they get that bomb plant down. This is, this is very awkward, isn't it? It really is. This is no armor and Deagles and Glocks goes down to the two versus two. And Nafly has the AWP. That's going to be difficult to shut down at this point. Stewie with the M4A4. And here comes Mage hoping to bring this back into their favor. There it is. Nafly on the flank though. AWP has vision. Will he be able to find the frags? Nails the first one. Comes down to the one versus one. And now Zipex. He knows the bombs on the truck. He might be able to get the full defuse in here. But Naf is aware of that. Does he go for it? Does he take the bait? He does. And down he goes. A very... Strong attempt there from Liquid. Remember, no armor, no utility, just a couple of deagles. It comes down to a 1v1 where they could have definitely won it, but it doesn't happen. And it's going to be 4 1 now in favor of Astralis. We have a full buy. This is where Liquid want to be. I don't think they'll bring out the AWP too much on the T side, but it's definitely an option for them if they want to try and shut down Device. We know how aggressive he is. This is how the round starts with two kills. So you would think that was, that'd be easy. But they, they, could have, they could have very well lost that. And actually, this is a bit of a problem for Astralis. You know, it's great winning around, but when you win it with just one person surviving like that, definitely costs you a lot of money. And now that Liquid can buy again, if they win this upcoming round, that's going well, to almost ruin the economy yeah. for the Danish side. It absolutely will. It's going to be a little bit troublesome. And oh. this looks like another oh. technical issue. I can hear some chatting going on in text, and it looks like their team speakers crashed. So nothing... Well, is Probably communication so. really important, Henry? Do you that's, really need to talk to each other? That's what I'm thinking. Like, you and I sometimes cast without even talking to each other. Yeah, you could do that. You could just, uh, I mean, maybe lip reading could be in favor, or, you know, just they, they play there, with logic. There's though, plenty you know. of options out there. I feel Should like, be something. Yeah, it's kind of diva-ish to pause the game when you haven't got communications, I think. Team Speed goes down, just keep playing. Go on without it. Maybe maybe hand signals could be could be improved upon. <laughs> that could be a little bit troublesome I think, with the keyboard situation. I think Bardolf though, he's he has like taken diving classes, right? I think they learn, you know, underwater. Yeah. So maybe we get him in and, and I feel like you can only really say okay and emergency in those scenarios. Is that all you need? I really? think, yeah, I guess that probably is all you need. For most cases, Henry. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> probably true. Uh, there's a Dren, the new signing of Team Liquid. Oh, he's got some fans out here. You are Dren fans? Yeah, there we go. Understandably so. Yeah, he's uh, a decorated player. There he is, back, back on. And uh, no longer a player anymore, now gone into the role of coach. I think it suits him perfectly. He's always been yes. a great in-game leader and was dropping off in the fragging department towards the end of his career. And this makes a lot of sense. He's got so much talent to really mold into something wonderful. And everyone's talking about Liquid right now as one of the top teams in the future. They're currently ranked number three in the world. And we're yet to see them really kind of set the world alight. I want to see them lift that massive trophy and show us what they really can do. Uh, but it's going to take some time, as these things do, Anders. Yeah, they really tend to. I mean, it, it's, it's not uncommon, right, that you're just sort of all the time right at the edge. You're making that, that final breakthrough. Liquid have been there a number of times. Yeah. And, you know, to be fair to them as well, they've had, you know, I think one sort of the, the best run, while Astralis have also had their best run. Like, there's something weird about the how that's coincided just between those two teams. Uh, so I'm sure eventually they'll make it through. They're certainly an incredible team to, uh, to watch play. Just so much fun. You feel like this is the strongest Liquid lineup we've seen? Yeah, I definitely, definitely so. In terms so. of potential, I suppose. I mean, I, even, even if I just go through in my mind that I say, well, who would, you, who would you actually replace on this team if you had to sort of... I, you I, wouldn't, would you? <laughs> it's not really clear to me how that would work. There's actually. no real weak links. You can't really no. pick one out. Um, but speaking of the sniper situation, we can see Nitro has picked up the AWP on the T-side. I think that's by virtue of Device's play and what he's showing right now. They need to shut him down. And... Uh, this is definitely a good response. Nitro waiting for the aggression towards middle, seeing that anyone's pushing that fountain position. Here's Stewie, flashbang towards the connector. He's got the Krieg. Not the best weapon for real close range scenarios, especially when it comes to the spraying, but we'll see if he can make this work as the CTs are waiting. It's Dupree, gets the first frag, and Zipex death from above. He gets the second, it's now a five versus three. So a big advantage for Astralis that the first fight happens uh, up by the playground there, because then Stewie sort of forced out down through the connector and then Sip is ready for him. So it actually all works out in favor of 
the Danes. This time that's Naf opening up on B. Easy headshot, long range though as the bomb goes down. It's Magus stealing that with the Org. And now we're down to 55 seconds here as they try and fall back. Two versus three. If Naf can secure the bomb side, this can definitely be one, but I feel like it's going to have to be him that opens it up a little bit and he's sneaking in. I think he just ducked under and not quite enough device ready and waiting for him. And I think, I think that was the one chance there. Nitro, one versus three with the AWP. That, that doesn't seem very likely, does it? It doesn't, and there's, I think he might be onto something there. He's got the bomb on his back, though, however. It makes his way towards B. Great shot. Not quite enough, though. Fantastic trade potential there from Astralis. As Zipex picking up his second frag of the round. He'll recover the AWP and give that to Device. If you look at the scoreboard quickly, 5-1 overall. He's Stewie 2K, 1-6. Same story for Twist. Those are the names you want at the very top of the scoreboard, ideally. So, uh, they need to start waking up in the fragging department as they have to take another eco here. You can see that was a great position from Zipex, backed up from middle as well. As he closes things out, no chance for Nitro at all. There's the monster smoke, and they have got CZs, a Tech 9, and decent utility. You'd expect like a full on set piece. You don't want to see the miss smoke, though, Anders. You hate to see that. Yeah. It's the little details, right? It doesn't really cost them anything in this round because nobody was trying to get the rush. The grenade can land right inside of that tunnel. Doesn't actually do nearly as much as I thought it would have. So they lose Magus, but I still think they're going to be fine for now. Five and one. Such a different start here for Astralis than in their last game. Yeah, well, if you remember, it's their T side they started on against MIBR. They yes. couldn't really get anything going whatsoever. So a uh, sign of things to come. It was a difficult game for them. MIBR played exceptionally well. I don't think anyone expected that. That was including Astralis. Maybe they're caught off guard. But now, bouncing back, looking for that 6-1 scoreline, and it's looking very likely they get it. There's the wall bang. Nitro will at least make this round possible for them. They won't be able to recover that rifle, but Nitro, he might have enough to make this round work. Still with two smokes and a flashbang. Goes to that monster position, but there's Wave. It's such a common spot, up on the grills, and he'll get both the frags, and three players survive for Astralis. Not bad at all, Anders, and that was the eco. Lick, we get a couple of kills, yeah. and they're going to take a time out here to discuss their options going forward. Do they want to continue with the AWP? If they were going to do that, it's going to take almost everything they've got, and they won't have a lot to work with it. I feel like that slope works for so many different reasons. I mean, one of them is obviously just that, as you said, you sort of blend into the background a little bit, but also because you're elevated like this, you can actually see the flashbangs coming yeah. over the wall so much easier that, you know, maybe you get time to turn around, but... Um this is a brilliant start for Astralis. I'm kind of, uh, I'm a little bit surprised, a little bit shocked that uh, they've managed to get off to such a good start. Liquid, they've had quite a lot of uh, trouble in the equipment department and the weapons department. So maybe now they could sort of pick it up again and, and try and run some of the stuff they practiced. I'd like to see them just sort of Take it slow once again, edge their way through the map, try and win some of those early fights. The thing is that they're getting decent control of the map and the default. They just don't have enough towards the tail end of the round to actually make it yeah. go in their favor. They'll get all the long control, middle, but they don't have the smoke that really will block Device out of the equation. But let's see what they can do here. It's going to be the Krieg once again for a liege. As Device fires off a shot towards middle, narrowly missing out on the early frag as they'll get that information towards middle. That's which suggests that long is actually going to be clear. They can use that intel now to get up long quickly. No one else is going to play long apart from Device. So up they go. Three players there, and that's a great bit of uh, intel gathered and a good call as well. They smoked the end of long there. That was a problem before, so now Device won't have such a shooting gallery at the end. Are they going to boost over the smoke? I think they will, though, yeah, in the A bomb site. So if they actually were to come and peek long now, they probably would get shut down. That's a nice little way to improvise it for Astralis. Just, I mean, even just getting the information is still worth a lot, but um, also that could catch you off guard of your liquid. Well, Astralis have confirmed no one's going towards long at all. They can probably leave that position for now at least. As we hit the one minute mark, you can see Nitro waiting for the seat to maybe hunt for a frag here. We'll see if that's going to work out for him. Device down to 68. In terms of the setup here, all five players of Team Liquid are indeed by the bar fronts. Here comes the first proper execution we've seen. Oh yeah, Dupree, he's in a little bit of trouble getting shot for the smoke. He's trying to pre-fire it, but Stewie will take him down. That's a great way to begin. And thought maybe they're going to fall back, but it seems like they want to continue a little bit. Device, he sees the gun barrel. He wants to take the shot for the smoke. He can't see anything right now. And then another kill comes through in favor of Liquid. Device up close, he's going to get shot down. It's working out brilliantly here for the T side. It's all on Magus can sip and sip's gonna take down one. That bomb plant a lot, a lot delayed right now, but it's working out in their favor. Sometimes delaying that bomb plant can be so dangerous, but this time I think they did the right thing. Magus, if they get to fall back, yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, if they were up closer, they could try and hunt them, that would be different, but now he's gonna have to actually go and dig them out of that bathroom, and I'm not sure that's gonna be possible, and he may have realized the same thing. So very, very persistent push here for Liquid. 
Well, Magis will give it his all. Tries to smoke off towards Longless like he's bailing with the AWP. We know the money's not actually amazing for Astralis. Yes, they're up 6-1 right now, but a lot of the rounds have been expensive, especially against the pistols as well. Yes. And Liquid, once again, this time getting that decent information to the start. They confirm if Device is middle, you can take that long position, which they did amazingly well. Device boost behind the smoke, you'd think that'd be enough for them to fall back, but overall, it was a scrappy round, but Liquid survived with three, Nath down to one point of health there. And Astralis, they save the AWP, but still, even with that, it's a difficult buy. Device says 5,400 if they wanted to drop. Uh, I think they might just take a partial by the looks of things because there's a Deagle coming out for Dupree, but there's the Org. It is going to be dropped, so they're going for it. See if they can answer back straight away. UMPs, Orgs, the AWP, and a Deagle for Dupree. This is already on Device. He has to step up in this particular round. Yeah, it's a great educational round in terms of just seeing what a different smokes make in terms Absolutely. of just denying device. That yep. was really good. He couldn't have the same sort of impact. He's not as comfortable. All executions of Counter-Strike are designed to make the defense feel uncomfortable. If you yes. can do that, he won't hit every single shot. That's exactly what happened there. Yeah, a bunch of them were even just sort of guesswork, weren't they? Yep. You know, just sort of hoping that it would work out. And every shot he takes, they get a little bit closer and eventually, you know, they just run him down. So you love to see that kind of work and I think they need to continue this I, I, six two is really not a disaster for liquid right now but yeah. be nice to see them go on a bit of a streak here and start to build their own economy that's that's Dupree's hair catching fire I think yeah it absolutely is and I think he might oh, be going no. down as well as an absolute bloodbath going on in the connector Dupree might be able to get this frag which he does upgrade to the AK-47 but he needs another kill here not gonna happen and liquid have a massive advantage now if they win this round they shut down the finances of Astralis and they can really get into fifth gear 6-3 looking almost certain at this point. The smoke towards heaven. Glaive trying to deny the plant. Will he jump through? He's got vision. No trade as well. He can get a second here. The dink comes through, but it's not quite enough. A mage is left in the three versus one. Should be absolutely no chance he wins this. It's a bit close for my taste, but, um, you know. The fact Glaive got out and had that sort of vision, I was a bit worried for them, but it looks like everything is under control. Yeah, they made it work. Magis, not much point in trying to, again, it's one thing if you could get a really quick kill and make it a one versus two, but when you have to go and look for all three players, that is, that's just never good news. So, going to pick up the first there, Naf, trying to get cheeky and sneak in behind him. He's going to be able to save this one organ. And Liquid are right back on track. It's nice to see. I mean, I feel like that's been true for all of their games in this tournament so far, is that even when they've looked a little bit behind or when, when something hasn't been working, they don't really look panicked. They sort of just stick to the plan, and more often than not, it works out. Well, that's what you want to see. Astralis with the force by does not work out for them whatsoever. It's going to be Liquid finding their third. Magis will save the Orc there. They try to change the setup slightly. They send a couple of players towards middle in the past. Soon, like we saw, we had Magis get long, trying to counter the fact that they might consider it to be an open position. There's Stewie in the connector, finding the majority of the kills. Great pincer from Naf as well, as that does confirm just the pistols here for Astralis. They invest quite a lot, you know. They've got Deagle and Kevlar and the Magus Org as well. That's what they've built it around. That's why they've gone for that investment. Maybe spending a little bit too much here. We'll see if they can make it work. It's Magus who will be holding towards the B site alone. So he has the rifle on that side of the map and his teammates trying to funnel them towards the B area. You can see they've got four players towards the party zone. They're trying to show big numbers here and hopefully funnel them in towards that rifle. It's nicely done by Elise and Glaive has already used that position once, so they're definitely aware of it. Now it's been revealed, so maybe just thinking about whether or not they want to push up here, you could see they're being a very defensive liquid, and I don't really blame them. I think, once again, they're playing this very smartly. Well, it's he, nice, nice approach so far, absolutely. Even in the last round, where they were, what, two versus four, they still smoke, you know, up, but they still smoke that sniper spot where Glaive was holding. They're, they're not really leaving anything to chance right now, which at this level of play, you definitely want to see. Uh, especially against Astralis. Yes. Them an inch, they'll take a mile every single time. You've got to make sure you completely cover every facet of the bomb side before you make your final execution. That's what's going to happen now. I'm almost certain, well, with that kill coming in, they might just use that Q to make their way forward. The, there it is. You can see that's just flushing that key position now. It's so yes. strong. But as soon as we say that might be a problem, the Molotov lands there. And now just Zipex. He is a bit of a god. And he's showing us how strong he is there. But he's only got the CZ. Good for one kill. Uh, that's it. Liquid now with, I think, three rounds in a row finally they're looking like they could be dangerous here and i think astralis have to take another eco as i said they maybe invested a bit too much cash there they didn't buy any deagles or armor they'd actually have a pretty compelling buy at this point they'd have 4500 dollars each but they have to take another partial as liquid claw their way back into it remember this is a very ct-sided affair on overpass so liquid are actually the 
pretty good spot. They're going to not tie things up, but 6 5 is good as. And PG50s, Deagles, Magus with Kevlar, that's about it. And they're sending four players towards the B site. And Dupree with his Deagle holding the bathrooms. That's a very interesting turn of events. If Liquid can take down Astralis already on overpass, that would certainly make for an interesting uh, tournament. I mean, usually we've had a couple of events so far where already in the third round it sort of felt like Astralis were destined to, to go right to the grand finals already. And, and yeah. now, big question mark around that. Turns out they are mortal after all. Yeah. They end up being taken down by Liquid and MIBR both. Well, I can't do the math, Henry, but it's going to be interesting. That's all we need to know, and as long as this tournament's interesting, I'm, I'm still here. I'm ready. Yeah. Listen, I try generally <laughs> to avoid doing that at all levels. Elige will be taking down Dupree. He's trying quickly for it there, but the Deagle not really working out. And now it's on a sip to maybe you know, sneak in a kill, steal a rifle. I just think that's probably the most we can hope for. I, yeah, it's hopeful at best because he's got absolutely nothing to work with there. It's going to be another round of the ball for Liquid. They keep four players alive here. Nitro, the AWP, and he's also got $8,000 in reserve after the reinvestments. This is actually looking very good for the final few rounds here. As we enter round number 12, device with the AWP once again. Astralis, not a team you'd really ever see use a double orb setup unless it was really put on a plate for them. They've recovered it, and Dupree fancies giving it a go. Uh, sometimes Major School on train, but here we we go the next gun round this smoke missed before we'll see if it can land towards monster this time nitro will be smoking off the bathrooms for his teammates looks like another default round coming through device this time towards long Dupree holding the bathrooms no aggression with the cts whatsoever very classic setup from them i think we have got a ct stack towards long so you're not boosted on the flower bed you're essentially allowing device to have a different angle he's not just yes. on it itself you do need a teammate but they've Fall better of it, and they're falling back now. That's sort of position you don't want to hold for a very long time, right? Because, you know, that's, that's two people with, with pretty much no map control. That, and if nobody shows up in the first 10 seconds, probably better to just, you know, leave it at that. Really aggressive stack towards the B bomb side, especially being that far up. And if this keeps up, that could actually favor Liquid. It sort of feels like they're posturing more towards the A side of the map. And if they get one good opening here, and, like, the, the 3B players probably aren't, aren't even going to make it to A in time. So that would be interesting. They seem to be drawing slowly back. You can sort of see that Magus, I think, being, being held back now towards the A-bomb site. And now they're on the other side, Liquid. It almost looks like they're reading the minimap too, Henry. We'll see whether this works out for them. They are posturing to the correct position. They've got four players towards the B side of the map. Stewie just showing a little bit of presence towards the bathrooms as well. And Zipnex detects the threat. But they will see the trajectory of that incendiary. They now, they now know that he's stuck in that position. The orb can now watch for his transfer. We'll see whether he can get out of here. He's going to need either a smoke or a really strong flashbang for his teammate. Incendiary goes down. They're pushing through it. That could be detrimental. They do trade up the kill. Low HP on Nap. He'll be taken down. And that's the threat. Thwarted for now, and they'll come through the ones to tunnel. Play needs to find his second, does damage and falls back. It's a really good play, really smart and safe for Astralis right now. See almost none of them exposing anything, just quickly falling back after every fight, and Twist is gonna go down Dupree with a double to end it, and things looking a little bit better this time for Astralis. And I sort of felt like they had a good opportunity there, Liquid. I, I think they did a decent job at drawing a couple of the defensive players back towards A, and then they sort of rotated towards B. I felt like they had the right idea, but just couldn't make it through the tunnel. Similar scenes to the first few rounds of this game. They get all the control. It looks like they're ready for an execution. And you can see there's no real threat to the CTs there. There's no flashbangs, no Molotovs, no smokes down. They're just hitting the shots, which Astralis will do all day long if they're given the opportunity. As we get into round number 13 here, decent buy on either side. Glaive focusing towards Short. He's going to flash up, and surely he's going down. The flash is decent. Elise somehow comes out on top, though. Both players completely blind. It's the Krieg that finds the shot and an early advantage for Liquid here. So now they can slow things right down, Anders. That's such a gift at the start of the round. You know the CTs have to react. They start dumping their utility. They have to start pushing and reacting to this play. And I'll have a look at the minimap right now, see if we can work out where they're focusing most of their efforts. It looks like the beat bomb site. Ooh. Three players there. Yeah, they want to go for the boost. I'd say that's very dangerous. You know there are a couple of people on the other side flashbang to set it up, and I think they actually failed that. Now they're going to go for it, and somehow that works out. I swear Twist was even looking at that. Yeah, he was ready, but Zipex a little bit too quick. He's actually one of the highest rated players with Astralis on this map. He's an absolute god in that B-bomb site. 
Fumble the boost, but still stuck the landing with the headshot. Four versus four, and that's the reactive play we are looking for. But the AK still continuing to do the damage here. The bomb side cracked wide open, but the bomb's still back in T spawn, so won't be able to win the round just yet. Well, even Great. worse. Oh, they have another smoke actually on Stewie, so they can smoke away device. I was getting really worried for a minute, because if they don't put up a smoke here, that could actually tear their team apart. And Dupree's flanking in, long way around, 35 seconds here. Are they going to be able to put up that smoke? I really think it's critical. Don't want to be going out of the open here. They're going to smoke the bomb instead. And oh, actually connecting a little bit against him. I'm not even sure how. I think Dupree might be too far away. I feel like Device needed a kill to buy time. And then maybe they would have had a shot at it. Now it's going to be really tricky. It's just one of those plays. You, you know you're going to have to save these weapons considering the money's so low. They just won that previous round. And if they save two weapons, they'll still have a pretty decent buy overall. But if... They had given the opportunity to use a device holding that angle. If they'd given it a couple of kills, they probably would have gone for it, right? Just trying to see if there's anything there. There wasn't, they're going to fall back. But Dupree probably going to be traded out here. We'll get this first kill, no problem. But then it's the second I'm worried about. Can he just get out of there? Surely, Elise will take him, and indeed he will. So that's not actually worked out too well for Astralis. They save the AWP. It's round number 13 going in favor of Liquid. It's going to bring the scoreline to 7-6 to six now. Three players survive on the T side. They recover the AWP. We've got a really competitive game on our hands now. Yeah, I would say already now they could have made it past the the sort of threshold for for uh, you know I'm, I'd say anything now is just a bonus for Absolutely, them. Absolutely, I agree with you. Especially against a team like Astralis, you obviously want as many rounds as you can get. But if you're told you're going to get six, you'd, you'd probably be okay with that on the T side. It's not the end of the world as they take the round. We get into the next one. It is going to be the buy from Astralis if we set it as long as they save the orb, they're okay. But there will be compromises. You can see they've only got one kit, a lack of utility, and a UMP for two free. You look at the scoreboard for Astralis, this isn't even like, you know, a, a couple of the members having a really bad day. Like, it's hard to pin this on anything except for the fact that Liquid are just being a really thorough team right now. Like, I really enjoy how they're playing the game and it seems to be working out well for them. Yeah, they're, they're showing a lot of tenacity right yes. now. The fact they bounced back from the horrible scoreline. They were, what, 6-1 down and they managed to bring it back to 7-6 on the T side of overpass against the world's best team. That's a very difficult task, and it's been fantastic to watch it unfold. Here's the opening shot, though, Device. He's back. He'll nail that oh. one. It's going to be a trade instantly, though. Nafly, he'll find Dupree lurking towards that connector position. It goes back to a 4-4, four and four, and Astralis need to avoid that. Those opening picks need to try and get the hell out of there as quickly as you can. I think he, I think he banged them all the way through the bomb site, Henry. Oh, I think that, really? was, that was right through the wall, I think. <sighs> well, it's fancy you get a replay of that at some point, but um, you hate to see it. Four versus four, down to about 50 seconds on the clock. Sip gonna go and peek, and that's very late after the flashbang. That gets him killed. Now Meg is trying to get a bit of a return. There's also a flank coming. Is it gonna be in time? Meg has chance to stay alive for another couple of seconds, or it definitely won't be in time. There's another kill, and he goes back by the barrels, and that's bought so much time for Glaive. So even if he goes down, this should be an easy cleanup for Glaive. Gonna get the one kill and following up, no bomb plant. Glaive is going to be the one to get the double, but I feel like Meg is coming in, got a couple of kills of his own and just bought so much time. That's the aim of the game in the B-bomb site. It's not the flashiest position, but if you can slow them right down and save your grenades for the late stages of the round, it's what it's all about. Device, he gets that opening kill. Really quick shot as well. Barely saw a lead there. Gets that first and there's a trade, but Meg just, he does everything perfectly here. He drops that smoke in front of them. He makes sure they have to go towards the bomb site in the way he wants them to. And at that point, his teammates are flanking in through the monster position, denying the plant. It doesn't really have a knock-on effect because Team Liquid had enough for a full buy anyway, but Stewie has no grenades, so I suppose there's something there. He'll be the one to AWP this time. Holding towards a connector. Zipex still with the UMP after winning the previous rounds. So He's still not 100% comfortable. This is the last round of the half. Boosting towards Shaw once again. That was actually Device up there. And we'll see whether Zipex can get his done. Sorry, Magisk with the Krieg. They've been doing that boost a lot. I, I almost feel like too much now. It's worked out for them, I suppose. But you do make yourself very vulnerable. A lot of positions when, even when you just stand up the first time, so many places that you could get shot down, and who knows, maybe one of the, your, one of the teams you're playing will have adopted that same triple stack that they do with the grenades. The grenades, yeah. Well, there's not many teams that are kind of trailblazing like Astralis are in the HE department. They really are getting the most out of that particular bit of kit. But here's Glaive, the backstab is looking incredibly good. He has chosen to go towards middle as well. And that's exactly where Team Liquid are heading. It's just Nafly who's watching Ooh. towards a B-bomb side for the push. And Glaive could get a couple of kills here. If Dupree can take the attention away for him, this could be everything. 
Setting it up, it's been spotted. There's the one kill, even just that falling back, but he's getting flanked himself. That was Naf coming through. Still, the panic, the absolute chaos on the Liquid side right now. Very hard to recover, although Twist definitely doing his part, getting the headshot on the pre. Now Sip is close with the UMP. He's the only one holding the bomb side, drops the bomb. Long range against Nitro, that will not work out. And now it's Magius. One versus three here to try and see if they can claw in one more round at the end of the half, and it won't happen. Nitro, great shot down, 7-8 in favor of Astralis, but what a fantastic first half here for Liquid. I think they really recovered it nicely. I absolutely agree. Like we said, 6-1 down. They managed to bring it back. Not necessarily in their favor. The fact they split it right down the middle there with an 8-7 score on the T side, that's great. They know they can win this game now. And there's a lot on the line here. Remember, the best of one, round robin format. If you can take a life off Astralis, that's absolutely epic. And MIBR, they managed to do it earlier in a very convincing manner. The fact they got 16-2, that brings them right back in this tournament because anyone who can take down Astralis is going to be looking good for the finals here. And uh, it all comes down to the pistol coming up next. Who do you think is going to take this one, Anders? Where are you leaning towards? you feel like Liquid have done enough now to impress you? Yes. I mean, I had them picked from the beginning, Henry. Also, you, you told me. I you told, told me you couldn't I couldn't. <laughs> that was doing you a favor. That's yeah. what I was trying to do. Setting me up nicely. I, I really appreciate <laughs> it. I do. I think Liquid have uh, really shown a great game right now. And again, like you said it earlier, the start was 6-1 in favor of Astralis or something yep. like that. So, I mean, if that goes any differently, Liquid are going to be having a, a very different game. I I, I'm pretty impressed by the way that they're playing right now. I mean, Nafly is 17-11 and 11 after 15 rounds played. He is one of my favorite players to watch. Yes. And then you could see the fact that Stewie's only on four kills and 11 deaths. I think that's why he had the AWP in the last round. Maybe not feeling it right now. The rifle's not working out for him. Just told us, just pick up the AWP, see what you can do. And uh, it certainly worked out for them. So well done. It's been a great game so far. We said this particular matchup could be one of the best of the tournament. It's certainly delivering so far. 8-7 as we get into the CT pistol for Liquid here. We can have a look at the buys as they come through. We can see a device. P250 has been brought out. He's got to smoke the flashbang as well. And, and just Glaive who has to purchase up here. He's normally the utility player. Suggests so something quite technical be coming. He normally gets the Molotov, the smoke, the flashbang. And one kit for Nitro. And there's the man of the hour, Naf. One of the absolute best players in the North American region. Beastly pretty much every game. Yeah, he is. He, I mean, he hits such a high level at times. And I feel like there's almost, there's almost a way that Naf plays where, you know, once he's really started to feel the game, like he, he unlocks like a little bit more where he starts yeah. to actually have fun with it. And he'll sort of, he'll, he'll make crazy plays. Like he plays really great standard Counter-Strike where it's just like, it's all very aim-based, you know, great with the one taps and everything else. But when it's working, it's like, he's like, okay, well, if it's one of those days, he embraces it and then it gets a little bit crazier. So yeah, I absolutely love watching him play as well. So much fun. I have to say, my heart did bleed a little bit for Glaive there. That fantastic backstab. The fact he got up towards the connect well, ladder. If you had to, if you had to, to diagnose Astralis here, Dr. Henry, Dr. Greer. Go on. Um, please, no, uh, no, no latex gloves. But, <laughs> but I would, uh, but I still, you know, that's the kind of round that Astralis wins every single time, right? Absolutely. Like, the fact that Glaive's given that sort of opportunity, you think he's destined to get a couple of frags there. He's a very cerebral and calm player in those sort of scenarios. And you thought, wow, he spotted one here, great trigger discipline, a couple of players in front of him. But it can happen sometimes. You don't get the cleanest of kills, especially with the M4 in hand. Yeah. It can fall apart. He only gets gets one. If he gets two there, they almost certainly win the round. It was such a perfect play. But Naf found him in the back because he couldn't quite find the quick kill. Here's the replay of Nitro getting it done in the last round as well, showing us what he's capable of with the rifle. A man of many talents there, Anders. He is the in-game leader. He's the sniper. He's a fantastic rifler as well. Great all-rounder. Yeah, there's a real joy, I think. I mean, you said he's doing so many different things. And then if you watch, if you watch, you know, sort of like three or four Nitro games, you'll definitely have one of those where where the AWP is the one just doing everything, and that's yeah. actually a lot of fun to see. So well, I'd say he's not the most consistent in the world with the AWP, but but the high mark's really high up there. When he hits it that yeah. level, it's especially on overpass, it can be really really fun to watch. And I'm saying they might bring out a double AWP setup with Stewie here as well yes. on the CG side. I think that's a, a definite possibility as we get into the pistol round here. There's the Molotov and smoke for Glade right at the end of the freeze time. They've got four players towards B, so execution here is looking likely but Naf is in a prime spot along with Twist as well we've seen this play before and we'll see if it works out again it was Tizzy well, who made a great play from that spot in this sort of mentality well unless it gets Molotov I'm not sure where they threw that one Twist still seems to be safe so he's just gonna try and go for it no he did get burned out and there wasn't really anyone there to help him that boost wouldn't have helped him from all the flames either oh and that was a jump as well from Naf he gets caught mid-air by Megaskin a bit of a return there the bomb has gone down oh Nitro again double headshot taking down Dupree and Megaskin both 
Earth. And now flank it around the bomb side. He wants more and he's almost got it. So much damage being done. Is he really going to pull out the knife? He, he almost wanted to knife that one. He certainly got the assist in the end. And now it's down to that P250 on device. Is it going to be enough to hold tight? Stewie picking up a kill and a very important one in the corner. Glaive. Oh, oh, he, he, gets, him. Gets, oh, he gets it as well. Glaive to save it. And Astralis winning a much needed round. That is absolutely wild. The he was collateral damage, wasn't he? Yeah, he wasn't even aiming for the diffuser then. He dinks him while trying to take down the first fight. I'm not sure how he realizes how lucky he was there. No. Unbelievable scenes. And it was such a great round from Astralis. They did deserve the victory there. The fact they had the presence of mind to throw the Molotov towards the barrels is actually a lovely setup from Liquid. If you break it all down, it should work because they got the boosted player at the back there. That's supposed to suggest we're the only two here. Don't worry about barrels. And then they Molotov it, find that first frag, and it all falls apart. But the one versus one. One comes in, and it's now Alige, who is forced by in the second round. Scout in hand, we saw this earlier. Falls back, no damage done. This time, Astralis just with one rifle again. It's Mages with the AK-47, surrounded by SMGs. Had a very slow approach this round for Astralis, and you can't really blame them, can you? I mean, you don't want to be giving it right back to a liquid team that have looked very powerful in the first half, so... Once you win that pistol in the second half, you want to make absolutely sure you convert it into a couple of rounds. Three CC-75s and, and that one scout on Elige. I feel like it's up to Elige to, to do the damage early on, so that when you get to the crunch time and, and sort of get close to a bomb site, the incoming players are nearly as healthy. So sort of want, I want him to be a little bit proactive with the scout. Yeah, it's, it's not about getting the frags, it's about softening them up. That's yes. really the aim of the game here. That 45 second mark coming in. That one doesn't connect. Look at all the smoke is stifling Anders. They've got no vision. How can they do anything with this? How can they make these CZs work if they can't see a damn thing? Astralis make their way forward. This is looking so good for them. And the bomb not going down just yet. They are biding their time. The smokes will dissipate any second of this stage as Dupree fighting heads up. And maybe they're a little bit too slow on this one. And now Glaive behind enemy lines. I'm not sure they're aware. He's right by the APC as they exchange blows here. Not the best weapon to find quick frag. The UMP is not doing a lot of work. Here, but Napoli certainly is. Headshot to plenty with a CZ and he gets another one. It's just Zipex remaining now. Nothing can be done. And there we have it. Team Liquid somehow fend off what looked to be the perfect execution there. But no, no plan comes through. And Team Liquid punish the fact that no move is made towards that bomb site. Uh, we have a new sim symptom, Dr. Greer. I, d I can't understand it. Well, that, those are the sort of I, rounds that... It seems so bizarre, doesn't it? The fact you know they've got pistols, you've got the wall of smokes that avail in, in front of the whole bomb site. I was excited. It looks so good. Even the fact there are four CTs there, you've got so much protection. You get that bomb down, it's going to bait CTs to run through the smoke, right? You should be taking advantage of the fact you have the smokes. Don't wait till they go down, and you've got UMPs against CZ at close range, because guess what? The CZ wins. And there we have it, 9 to 8, tactical timeout for Astralis to work out what the hell just happened there. It couldn't have been a better setup for the round. Just had to commit, someone at that point had to say, we've got to go in boys, the smokes are going down, we've dumped everything we've got. Yeah, because if it comes down to a, well let's say sort of a, a war where you're just shooting through the smokes, I mean then the UMP probably has a pretty good chance of defeating one of those CCs at the other side, so... Very strange scenes here, I mean... These are the sort of rounds we normally don't even question whether or not Astralis will pick them up. Uh, usually, usually the aim of the game is against Astralis just trying to make sure that when you get some of those five versus threes, you actually win them. Now, we've got Liquid taking away some of these rounds from the Danish side. Very, very exciting for sure. Set up for Twist here, seems to be good, and he's gonna get the one kill backed up a little bit. He didn't actually take that much damage from it, but still, I uh, respect the, just the careful play here. Yeah, great kill, fell back as well, doesn't bite off more than he can chew, and uh, didn't really take any damage whatsoever, just nine points of help removed. Deagles, CZ, Astralis are fully invested into this round, remember they're after losing the previous one, which looked like a, a lock-in. They're now going to be operating with Deagles and CZ, they still have three smokes and a few flashbangs, but it's a five versus four, and they don't necessarily have a ton of map control. Best look for them is Glaive heading towards the bathroom. So what does he really do with this? Now he's been detected, has to just throw a flashbang, actually gets himself, and now I don't really see this yielding a frag. They've got the bomb still down in T-spawn. I think eventually they'll head back towards B with some arbitrary smoke to see what they can do, but they're essentially locked out for now. I feel like this is a buy that was just... It had B-Rush written all over it. Oof. Well, then... <laughs> he's out. Yeah, there's blood all over the walls there. Majisk has been removed. Well, Astralis, what do you even do here? You've got 30 seconds. 
Nothing really to work with at all. Pistols, you're fully invested. He can't save, you get no cash going forward. And one by one, they're being picked off here. Stewie looking to close it out with style. It's Nap while it steals a kill away. And Glaive might sound strange, but he actually wants to die here now. He wants to go down before the timer expires. He'll get his wish. A clean sweep for Liquid there. They'll tie things up. 9-9 nine, nine here, and they're going to take the lead, presumably. It has to be the full eco, Anders. Absolutely incredible. Back to a tied scoreline. 9-9, nine, nine. Liquid could follow in the footsteps of MIBR and upset Astralis here on Overpass. That would definitely be something for... It's, it's fascinating that Astralis played Overpass twice in a row because it's not one of their best maps. It's kind of mid-table for them. You'd think, like, in terms of a best-of-one scenario, they'd be playing more of the maps we see them more often on, but uh, still can bring this one back, absolutely. They are going to invest into the round with CZ, and that's working out very well so far. So many frags and blows being exchanged here, but that's the most important one so far. It's Twist getting the bomb down, but not for long. Two versus two. Twist buys a little bit of time, and this kill might decide the round. Device somehow gets away with it. They can smoke off towards short right now. They're in a great oh. spot. Device, one HP. There's the smoke as well. Now they've got a chance. Yeah, that's absolutely critical. Going to buy a lot of time, but look how much, how many Molotovs are left here on the Liquid side. I mean, if they find out where they are, one of those Molotovs could be the difference maker, forcing Magus back a little bit. And again, a single bullet there on Device, and he is absolutely out of the round. He's just trying to stay as far away as he can, and I can't really blame him for it either. Naf flanking around, perfect position, taking down Magus, and there's nothing Device could do. If it wasn't going to be that, it would have been a grenade probably to find him at the end. So another round for Liquid and 22 kills for Nav. 22 frags as they take the lead. It is 10-9. That was not a forced buy from Astralis. Barely a partial buy. It sees that a couple of players had Kevlar as well. They brought it right down to a two versus one. They get the bomb down there. If they hadn't got the plan, they actually would have been in quite a lot of trouble here. So it's lucky they did. Great HEs. Twist gets that very important frag there to deny pretty much everything. And the double orb setup, there it is. And as we said, it might be a possibility yes. here. Stewie and Nitro, this is when they get into their final boss mode here. This is where it's become very difficult for Astralis, especially they don't have the device AWP. What can be done here? Ali takes significant damage at the start, but trying to answer back, that might connect. It certainly does. He dishes it out and takes device even down to 27 now with the follow-up and Sendry. Great start. That's really good recovery from Team Liquid. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. And I mean, this double orb is even, they have a lot of smokes here, but they have limited Molotovs and not as many flashbangs as they'd want. So might be a lot of opportunity for Stewie and Nitro to actually connect with those AWPs. I mean, smokes might be the primary weapon to get rid of the AWP, but you, you know, throw fire at the feet of someone and it's going to be a little bit hard to, to keep the focus as well. Glaive goes down to a liege. He's just controlling that whole playground area. Very hard to get this away from him. Now they've lost to Pri as well. They're getting picked apart right now. Could have easily been a second kill. Elige smoking up so he can come and help out a little bit. Yeah, by the fountain. Is he going to push through? It actually seems like he is. I'm not sure if they're going to realize this. Very tricky play. I thought maybe he was going to try and fall back and help out, but he's got his back turned. When that smoke goes away, he's, he's got to be ready. They know he's there. They are suspicious right now, but Elige gets the kill. The bomb goes down. He steals away the advantage once again, but back and forth we go with 30 seconds remaining. It will be a two versus two now. Zipex with two kills in the round. Oh, look at where Naf is. Oh, this is looking good. He'll hear the footsteps at least. He won't get the kill, but he's got intel. He knows, just hearing it means he can call back Twist, as we can see. He's already rotating. Man, this, this is very, very good for Liquid. A little bit of pre-fire coming through, 10 seconds. They have to go straight for the bomb plant. They can't really wait around for a very long time. And actually even getting tagged a little bit there, but they definitely have no idea that Naf is behind him. If they just back up a little bit too far, that's probably going to be the round lost almost immediately because he's sip. He is a bit paranoid about somebody being there, but Naf is already around the corner and he's going to have the perfect timing. That's a kill. Follow it. Oh! Naf. Great stuff from him. 24 kills now for him. He's having a great game, isn't he? He couldn't have played that any better if he tried. That is Counter-Strike perfection, ladies and gentlemen. Team Liquid win yet another round. That's going to be four in a row. Astralis, they get the pawn down, but they're averaging just under $4,000 per player. Naf, he's really giving it to him right now. I need to work out whether they want to buy in this round. I'd suggest maybe a tactical timeout at this stage. Such perfect play. Gets a defuse in afterwards as well. And CZ's once more. Astralis struggling now on the T side. They've won the pistol, but that is it. It's looking likely to be a 5-1 scoreline in the second half.
They have not really been doing very much at all with the C set 75s earlier. They've tried and it's been close at least one round, but mainly Liquid have been able to hold their own. This time it looks like it's going to be a B rush in for the tunnel. Grenade. Oh no, it blows up in the air. That Molotov did nothing. Now Twist, he's got all the room. Oh. They wanted the Molotov to be there. He's going to spray them down and double kill. No problem at all. Enough to follow it up. Shutting it down. Now Glaive, I mean, there's nothing to do. They were they were all in on the idea that there was getting fire in that corner. I feel like they did for a Molotov towards yeah. the barrels. It didn't explode, right? It didn't it land. It was in the air. So that's actually everything. Counter-Strike is all about the tiny details there. And that's quite a massive one, to be fair. But the fact is, if that had landed, they might have had a chance to win that round. Twist, he found two uncomfortable frags, even without the Molotov. So it was actually looking very good for Astralis. They're known for their fast B plays. Didn't work out for them. You could even tell that the two players that Twist got the kill, they're not even checking it. Yeah, exactly. They assume it's clear yep. because as far as they're aware, the Molotov's been deployed there. And that's just going to tilt them even further. If you run this a hundred times in the practice, you're like, well, every time this works, it's always the Molotov. We don't have to worry about position unless it's smoke. If you saw the smoke there, you'd be like, okay, don't have to check it. You know, it's all good. But they assumed it was clear. Yeah. Didn't work out at all for them. Now, not me, Henry, but a lesser player would uh, oh. want to know who was in charge of that Molotov, you know? You just inquire at some point. Who's throwing that Molotov? Uh, you, you, it's one of those things just like, yeah, no, it was there. I'm pretty sure it was there. You, know, you don't <laughs> want to be the one who said, ah, oh, they must have... They must have done something, they probably body blocked it or something, you know, something was going on there. I, I couldn't tell you. I felt like MIBR just closed up their game. Oh, Congratulations yeah. to them. Either way, round 22 here. Device back on the Kree. We haven't seen him use the AWP on the T side just yet. Here's the boost from Stewie as well. Looking towards that connector. Like you mentioned, Anders, you've got so many angles to check. If you just play a little bit deeper, though, you can focus just on the connector there. But for now, Device, Krieg. He's yeah, he's aiming through the sign up there. That's that's tricky. Like to see it. Yeah, just a little bit of a gap in it. They are playing very defensively. They seem to be just a little bit worried about what kind of tricks Liquid are going to be showing up with. And this is. I mean, when you're this slow in the beginning of the round, that might not seem like a big problem. But if you get if you get sort of further slowed down, if you have to take a long fight or anything like that, you know, might run out of time in the end. Oh. He was dead for sure, Elige. That's a bit of a miracle. How yeah. did he get that kill after being shot at from the other side and Nitro to follow it up? I thought that was going to end up much worse. It only gets worse for Astralis as well. Guess who's waiting for them on the A side? That's going to be the main man, Naf, who's posted an absolutely monstrous game so far. Great scenes. We'll see if he can do it again with the AK-47. So much confidence. You can see he wants the jewels. He wants the 1v1s. He wants them to challenge him. And they've got 30 seconds at this point. What is the final play here? Glaive waiting for his opportunity. Takes down the author in the form of Nitro. But Naf still waiting. The Molotov, it's not going to affect him. We'll see whether he can deny the plant. No smoke towards his position. He knows he has to find at least one frag here. Finally, they get that smoke up by the stairs. So that's going to buy them a lot of time. And three on three for the after plant. Let's see how this turns out. Naf. Oh, he's going to charge right for the smoke. That's so dangerous. They don't expect it. And he's going to get the kill. What a play from Naf. And he tried to pre-fire it. Did it create enough? Could, I think it almost opened up for them to come through the smoke. But it wasn't quite there. And now Glaive, he is low. But still a factor on the bomb side. You can see Stewie. Really not having a good time of it. He's, oh, just jumping up <laughs> on the box. He's going to get the shot easy. But Sip is left. And out of all the players you wouldn't want a one versus one against, maybe Sip is the ultimate. Oh! What? Somehow, it didn't even take anything. You can see Astralis. They're rattled right now. Glaive. Not a prime position. He thought he was covered. Stewie couldn't believe his luck. He jumps up, takes his head down. He fake diffuses there, and Zipex doubted it. He had the peak, and then at that point, Stewie takes him down. This was the kill. That opened things up, and you can see he's got no utility. He has to go for clean kills here, and Stewie's been so quiet. That's his 11th kill, but what a round that is to pick up. Completely oh. take the win out of Astralis' sails. I missed that. What did he do? <laughs> Young Stu, just playing to the camera, Henry. Oh, he always does. Just playing to the camera, we love it. Ever the showman. You have to be, right? <laughs> These days you do, yeah. Device brings out the AWP, and still, they've only posted one round, which was the pistol. That's the closest they come to getting another one, and it's a two versus one that slips away. Now down 13 to nine on the T side of overpass. But still, enough to work with the full buy here. They've got everything they need, the AWP, four AKs, all the grenades. What a time for Stewie to, to wake up. I mean, yep. that really is something, right? He, he had nine kills before that round, and 
That could do it for them. That's such a massive round to win. Let's see if it's enough to close the game out. Nitro wants to get aggressive here towards middle. Flashbacks come through. He doesn't quite nail the shot, but May just goes down to 63, kind of see the grenades here. And now they'll fall back. I think they might be able to go for a boost. They have lots of utility just to push those CTs back, deployed by the Ts. A boost in response, though. Just could be looking above towards a connector, seeing if they can get a bit of an angle here. See how much Astralis are going to expect this. Nobody's coming up out of the connector, but they still could cross right into the scope of Nitro. Sitting around on the other side, practically the whole team, and it actually looks like Device wants to set up a bit of a peak there. Oh, he's not even aware. Great play, Nitro, to take down Device, and they're right back in safety afterwards. In fact, they're going to go back for it again. They're so aggressive, Liquid. Yeah, this is really fun to watch now. You can see Astralis weren't even aware of that prospect. They didn't even consider it. Nitro gets the first, and he's not done just yet. Still playing heads up counter strike as he deploys smokes. The T's have to push through. Great flashbang, but a better follow up. It's a lead that somehow makes it work. Can he get a second? Surely not. Zipex removes him, and Nitro is in a compromised position. But somehow it works. He can get the second. Nitro somehow with three kills there. It looked like he was absolutely done for, Anders. He gets the quick scope. They don't even check that position. They assume the AWP has fallen back, and he steals everything away. Uh, wouldn't you love to be able to hear what Astralis were saying in that moment? Like, why on earth is he up there with JWP? <laughs> what is going on? The oh, crowd is loving it, Henry. <laughs> they they really absolutely are. do here in Miami. Well, they've got reason to cheer. Team Liquid are looking absolutely electric right now. Astralis don't really have the resources to really invest into this round. Glaive's already bought the CZ. They're knocking on the door of match point as well. It's Liquid 14, Astralis 9. Liquid just looks so poised right now. It's such a great game plan they've got. They've got little tricks to kind of counter what Astralis are bringing to the table. We even heard in the pregame, in the interviews, Astralis are aware. Everyone knows what they're up to. They know they can read their tendencies, and that's just a great demonstration of how to shut down their defaults there. Really impressive stuff, and I can't believe the audacity of Nitro to sit in the bathrooms with the orb once his teammate's gone down. I thought he was done for, but he pulls it off. Unbelievable. It's really, really great job. What do you say, Miami? Is this Liquid on the way to the Grand Finals? Are they going to make it? <laughs> I thought they might say that. It was a baited question, Henry. I won't <laughs> lie. I had, a, had an inkling as well that that might be the answer. But this is looking just amazing, isn't it? We definitely knew that it was possible to beat Astralis, but, but they've, they've looked like such a solid team in the past. And right now, First MIBR, now Liquid following it up. And again, I mean, Astralis, if you look, you just look at the scoreboard for Astralis, they have the kills to support winning more rounds. That isn't the problem right now. Yeah, well, Glaive's got 20. Everyone's in double digits. It's not like anyone's dropping off device with 15. It's looking okay in that department. It's just, it comes down to really crazy clutch situations at the end. And Liquid are winning them hands down almost every single time. That man who's screen there has been influential in almost every single one of those moments. What a game he has. Currently selling 28 kills and 14 deaths. Stewie 2K is still 11, but he's been worth his weight in gold is winning that one massive two versus one alone. So at this point, we have got a technical timeout, I think, as we just get back into the action. We're kind of just building the tension in the room. Yeah. That's what we're doing. Here. The calm right before the storm. Exactly. Isn't I really feel like... Um I really feel like if you just take a lesson from Stewie in this game, even if, you know, just, just personally, if you're having one of those games, right, it's worth to hang in there and, and not give up hope, because sometimes all you need is that one round, and, and you could have a massive impact and, and really make the difference, so... As long as you're not giving your kill away for free, you're backing yeah. your teammates up and you're doing what you can, that's enough, and you're waiting for your opportunity to really sink your teeth in the game, and that's what he did. He didn't start pushing randomly, trying to get the frag total up, he just stayed quiet and looking at the bigger picture, and it's great to see younger players having that sort of approach. Do you have a really big takeaway right now for Astralis, is there anything that's really sort of just, you know, shining in your eyes saying that's what they're doing wrong, like that's the thing that's it, really messing it up? It just feels like today is just a real slow one for them. They're not getting any fortune in terms of the uh, situations they're finding themselves in. Like the, the one that stands out for me is like the, the Glaive backstab really personifies this game for me. Like yes. As he couldn't get anything going there, he made all the right plays. He got three players on his screen and it just wouldn't work out for him. Uh, same thing with that Stewie clutch as well. It seemed like they caught in the headlights a little bit. Their communication was a little bit off in positions they could be spotted from. They weren't actually aware of and uh, it's just been a series of unfortunate events for them as they will buy up into this final round. Astralis with Galil's 
UMP, that's a final round, a match point, of course. And UMP's one AK, it's not looking too good. They pretty much need the rest of these rounds, and so far, I've only picked up the pistol. Massive advantage for Liquid here, but Astralis, you could never count them out. No, definitely not, but it, it is kind of now and ever, as you said, almost at the final round. Twist, back turn, waiting for flashbangs. He already got one of them, but I think that, that tagged him as much, and he's actually going to cancel that push. He's just going to say, you know what? There was that one timing, and it's not quite worth it. Spraying on through, and I don't know, that could have been very dangerous. They get just about equal amounts of damage. And Astralis get a little bit of map control. They're not even going to wait. They're going to go for it. No setup time. Just throwing in the Molotovs and right onto the bomb site. They've already got it. Twist is the, really the only one holding on the site. So he's going to need a little bit of backup here. He goes down. Great push right now from the Danish side. Oh. And Device is going to catch Elise. He's trying to come through. Nap is down and out. That is a very decisive push here from the T side. And that works perfectly. I, that definitely caught Liquid off guard. They weren't expecting the fast pace there. The force fire from Astralis keeps them in the game. They go for a very basic execution there. You can see Liquid of a very defensive hold as well. One player all the way back towards the water. He couldn't really do much of it. There's smokes, there's flashbangs everywhere. Double kill comes in between Magisk and Dupree at the same time. And they continue their assault as the CTs push through the smokes. The first compelling round in the second half as Liquid go back to a double orb setup. Now, Nath likes to be left on just a pistol, albeit a CZ, but still, this is looking quite good. Good. I like this decision. We'll see if they can get the opening pick. As Stewie, when we go with the classic boost, he's waiting for the flashbang to come through. He does fall off, not a huge deal, as he looks towards that connector. Another default here for Astralis as they get some decent mid control to start. Debris already quite deep towards that position. You see, they've smoked off towards the bathrooms. They'll make their way through towards connector. I think they're going to go back towards that B bomb site and try and continue their success there. See if this smoke, or sorry, this uh, post. Oh, it almost does. That's really unbelievably close. They're going to follow it up with a couple of grenades, make sure they don't get rushed down. But Astralis don't really seem to care. They've still poured all their grenades onto the bomb site, and Sip, he's through that monster tunnel. He's got the vision into the bomb site. Could have almost caught one. There's the headshot to follow it up, but Stewie, great reply here. And they've got more people on the site coming in. Nitro is down, but Naf is there with the, almost a double spray down. And looks like they're going to be able to clean it up. A lot of chances, I feel like, for Liquid to actually get this round converted in. But in the end, it's Magus with a triple. I don't know, that looked like it could have definitely been a Liquid round. Yeah, absolutely, there was opportunities there. Stewie with the boost at the start, difficult shot, but certainly within his wheelhouse to hit that. Doesn't work out, and then at that point, they've got the orb right on the bombsite floor. They have to really fight up close and personal with it. It's not the most ideal weapon when they're that close. But here's Magus getting it done, and Zipex opened things up. But Magus, two rounds in a row now, he's completely dominated that B bombsite with three kills. Great stuff, and it's forced out an eco. So just we thought Astralis were dropping off two rounds in a row. They've broken the money for Liquid here. They're right back in this, 14-12 almost dead certain now can't almost can't handle it henry i feel like this is too much <laughs> we're not even at the grand finals yet but uh this this kind of a game if astralis find the momentum to get back into it now i mean that would be too much to ask for wouldn't it they've got the stack on the b bomb side but honestly they've had a lot of people here in the past with rifles and that hasn't been enough so i'm not sure it's going to do it this time decent grenade landing on top and Magus, yeah, he's so ready for it. You see him actually firing through and then just continuing the spray down. He, he knew that was coming. So, let's break this one down. That's three rounds in a row for Astralis. Yes. Three finishes towards the B bomb side. So, what's the call away from Liquid? They'll probably take a tactical timeout before this next round, and they're probably going to boost their B defenses, right? But if they do call a timeout, Astralis will be aware that that's going to be some sort of repositioning here. Yes. They continue the B push now. They continue focusing that area where they found so much success in the last three, or do they mix it up and go for a fast, long push, something like that? They really want to change the pace of the game, and uh, that's what Glaive is so good at. He's so good at getting inside your head just when you think you've worked out what they're doing. He changes things up. I'd like to see a tactical timeout. I think we've got one, actually. Yes. We have, so this is perfect. So if it was Liquid, the call this now you know they're adjusting and trying to work out how they can boost that side of the map i really feel like in in these situations this is where having someone like adren or sonic behind the team can make such a difference to yep. sort of recall and say listen in the past how have they reacted you know this late in the game what's their tendency exactly the mind games because yes. they're all aware of what i just said they know how this all works it's not just me that's aware this could be a thing so you're trying to work out will they actually go for the b stack now where they continue their default setup i feel like liquid don't need to necessarily send like three or four players over to start but maybe just change things that maybe show a uh, different style of setup we'll see what happens there Anders. yeah in this moment the the limitation on how good of a decision you can make is really down to sort of the memory of, of each in-game leader or each captain on the team behind them i mean it really makes a big difference how much you can recall oh they're going to try go for the boost this is so aggressive again 
Think of how much is on the line right now. All the way looking over by the flower bed, way up by the tree. They've got a great angle in there. Tapping away in device. He's going to be out of it. What a play, but is it going to be punished? Oh, oh my god, Clave! Shutting down Elysia Nitro. That was expensive. That is unbelievable. It looked like that was a perfect play from Liquid, but Glaive is there to snatch it away from them. Four versus three. Astralis waking up in the dying stages of this map. Still one round away from match point. Liquid desperate to make this one work. They've now got one smoke, no diffuse kits, and a four on three disadvantage. They'd almost made it out, Henry. Yeah. Pockets so full of candy. They were just, they were just so happy. They were dragged back in. Yeah. <laughs> so close. Wow. It is a B focus here. Twist and Stewie towards that side of the map. Just Naf, who's holding. Just Naf. Oh, he's not actually not. He's towards B as well. They've oh. gone for a bit of a tactical stack here. So if they do go towards A, they'll let it slip by, hold on to their weapons. If they go B, they'll challenge it. As soon as they know it's an A side attack, I don't think they'll necessarily do much about this. What can you do? You've got no utility, you've got no money. You might as well save the three rifles and let them have this round. Yeah, I actually don't think that's such an unreasonable call. I mean,. The, uh, what, what's the other choice, right? Having exactly. You might one, as well, instead of having one player there, yeah. there's another gun and you won't do anything about it. Uh, you might as well put all three in that position and at least have a chance of fighting when they come there or saving three weapons. You, this is not a pivotal round, sure. Astralis getting closer and closer, but it's better off to have the weapons for the next. This has really turned into a wild game. 14-13 now. Astralis about to catch all the way up to Liquid. I really don't know what's, what's more exciting at the moment because obviously Liquid taking down Astralis, that would be a great headline, but if they tie the game, then suddenly the math for, for points is going to be so interesting once again. Oh, what? no! He got the third as well. He actually took them all down. Magisk lights them up in T-Spawn. It looked they were dead set to take him down. They had an even counter to his push towards T-Spawn. He finds the initial two, finds the third as well. That is wild. That might be confirming Astralis' comeback here because that is money now ruined. They needed to save those three weapons to even have a buy now. Here's Glaive. Oh my goodness, what a round that was, Anders. Afadzik kicked off of a boost, initial kill for Liquid, then the double kill from Glaive, and then three players saving. They lose it all to one player in the form of Mages. What a game we're being oh. pleasured with there. Surfing right to his death, Naf, and Magus trying to hunt it down. Stewie, oh, and he was getting wall banged too. That's. That's a little bit much, isn't it? Uh, winning that fight early on, of course, no real economy here for Liquid in this round. Actually just underhanding a grenade over. It's not a bad trick at all, and no reinforcements are coming either. Everybody is dead. And Twist, not much he can do from this position. I don't know what's happening here. I mean, I'd like to see sort of a graph of, let's say, Let's just say efficiency for Magus over the course of this game. I feel like in the last, you know, eight rounds, it would have just like spiked up. You know? Yeah, he's, he's been the one leading the charge for Astralis. Remember that when they got back into it, three rounds in a row, he got three kills in each one of those rounds. He then denies any sort of money being saved going forward. He is the one who is applying all the pressure right now. He takes himself up to 26 kills and 16 deaths. What a comeback this has been from Astralis. We always say, if you feel like you've got them, it's not over until it's round number 16. You, you've never beat Astralis until you've got to that point. Even if it could be 15-2, they can still bring it back. Yeah, it's crazy. I, I actually think that's one of the, the factors that's been missing for this Astralis team in the tournament so far. I feel like they haven't really had that exact chemistry, but it feels like now they're starting to really bring it back. And that's scary. That's got to be really worrying everybody here. Well, remember what a roller coaster this game was. It kicked off of Astralis on the CT side. They went up, up 6-1. We were like, okay, Astralis are back, looking like they're going to win this game, no problem. It goes 8-7. Team Liquid on an absolute rampage in the first few rounds of the second half. And now here we are. Split it right down the middle, 14-14. Money available for both sides. Stewie and Nitro back on that double orb setup. Stewie still around 14 kills, but he has overtaken Twist. He has been a name we have not said a lot this game. No. 13 kills, 21 deaths. It's been a quiet one for him. So, I mean, one more good round out of Stewie, out of Twist, out of someone like that, and that could be the difference maker. We'll see how it goes here into round number 29. Nitro pushed up aggressive, flashbangs. He can't see a thing, and he's trying to fall back. Into oh, the almost getting caught. He makes it through the smoke. How is he still alive? That is, and the hunt is still on. They're just chasing them all the way back, and Nitro's gonna get a kill. They bit off just a bit more than they could chew, and Nitro punishes them for them in the meantime. Oh no, that's a great time flashbang. They were ready to push, I think. 
They absolutely were. Twist now with the information towards Monster. That's QE 2K. He'll find the initial frag on the B approach, and they have got the advantage for now. Even more so now, just the vice. Three versus one. He has got time to work with, but not necessarily the HP. Just 38 points of health as he makes his way through. Surely there's no chance. Absolutely not. Team Liquid have guaranteed themselves at least one point on the leaderboard now. The draw is guaranteed. There's no overtime here in this format. Astralis, the best they can hope for after losing in the previous game in such a convincing manner to MIBR. They could find themselves only getting one point here, or zero, in fact. That got the crowd fired up, Henry. That's what they needed, just a little bit more motivation. They're back on their side once again. Naf dropping 31 kills in this game against Astralis. That's the kind of effort it takes to make this all work out. And here we go, round number 30. Let's see, is it going to be the victory or is it going to be the draw? I mean, that draw right now, Astralis might actually need that. Yeah. Considering they dropped the game earlier, this tournament is now oh. wide open. HE grenades, did they connect? Not really. Naf took a little bit of damage there. That was the double instead of the triple. So he only takes negligible damage, just 10 there. Double orb set up. Stewie had the opportunity to start, couldn't connect the shots. And it all slows down here. Round 30, the full distance. We wouldn't want anything less with these two teams on the server. Absolutely beautiful right now. And setting up very, very carefully. They've checked out that B-bomb site. They've shown quite a few grenades down there, and now they're backing up to take control of the other side. But they haven't actually spotted out Elysian. Right now, he's pushing up. Oh, God, Henry, this could be the play, couldn't it? It absolutely could. It takes a brave man to push along by himself. Yes. But this could be one of the best plays of the game. If he can pull this one off. Yeah, this could be absolutely devastating. He's right behind them with the M4 lined up and Here ready. They're all right Here in front of Here we go! The timing is there and oh, he's gonna get the one kill. That's the bomb as well. 35 seconds and they have to back off. They have to do something device. What a great reply again, but look at the time that's left. They've all, they almost can't make it now. 28 seconds, Henry. They're gonna get back in that B-bomb side. They're gonna have to do everything they can here. They still have a couple of smokes and flashbangs, but time is running low. We can see the boots coming for Twist. He kind of fumbles it, though. Stewie does not. He nails the shot, and this could be it. Team Liquid looking to get himself in the finish line. They have done it! Liquid take down Astralis, 16 to 14. They were down six to one, and they kept fighting back. What an excellent game. Two Titans of Counter-Strike locking horns, and we go the full distance. Amazing, amazing scenes. Yeah, the crowd are on their feet here at the arena in Miami. Absolutely amazing scenes. That 